open a terminal with Control Alt and T all together. Let's first test whether our Java is working. So for that we type Java minus version. This shows us that our computer has Java installed correctly. If this was not the case, you can visit the JDK installation video that I have done. Now we are going to install Android Studio. So we have to download Android Studio and install it. I'm opening a browser here. This is the Android Studio download site and I'm going to download Android Studio. When you go to download options, I have to select the version for Linux. I am presented with the licensing agreement which I have to agree to. So I click here to say that I have ag I'm agreeing to the licensing agreement. Then I can download the Android Studio. It will take a bit of time and I am going to save it in the downloads folder. Now it has finished downloading, so I'm going to my downloads to see whether it's there. Yes, it is now downloaded. So now I have to unzip it and install it. I click on the zip folder, right click on it and then select extract here. So now I have the unzipped folder here. Now we have to move this directory to an appropriate location. I'm moving it to my uh, desktop because it's easier for me. Next, I want to launch Android Studio. To do this, I need to navigate to Android Studio's bin directory in a terminal. So, Alt, Control, T to open a terminal. And I have to navigate to Android Studio folder. PWD prints the path of the working directory. LS prints the list of files. So I need to go to desktop and go into Android Studio. CD Android Studio and into the bin file.
I don't want to in import any settings so I select I do not have previous versions it will take a bit of time to set up Android for the first time click next I select the location of JDK so I click on here and go to user local Java JDK and now press next again next and I have to accept licensing agreements and click finish it will download whatever necessary files and update Android Studio. After taking some time, now it has finished. Now you can open an existing Android Studio project. Here I am going to select the MOOC project which I have saved in the desktop. Now you can load the MOOC project. 